Hi YouTube, so uh, this is me again. I'm taking a look at three different earbuds today, um, two, two of which are actually quite old. This is the Buds Plus and this is the Buds 2 Pro. It's a bit hard for me to remember because there was Buds Pro and this should be Buds Pro 2, but in my opinion, but they put the 2 in front of the Pro, so it's Buds 2 Pro. And the other one I have that I bought a long time ago is the Sony um, 1000XM3. Um, so the 1000X is obviously the chunkiest version and then the Buds Plus is just another inexpensive version and this is uh, a lot smaller and more, and more comfortable and of course this is the latest I just it, I've been using it for two months now so I just want to tell you a little bit about uh, what I know about it and my experience so far so I'm gonna rate these based on comfort music quality and call quality because all three of these are really important for me Okay, so as I go along, I'm just going to put them in my ears so you can see how comfortable it, it is. And the thing is that uh, I don't think I've, I have a little bit of charge of this and this, but maybe it may not connect. But it's when I open it, it's likely to connect to my phone. And of course, you can hear the call quality in a quiet environment such as my room here. Um, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the XM3. So you're going to see how big they are. These guys are big. I mean, they are really big. And when you put them in your ear, this is how they look like. Um, they kind of stick out, and they are very chunky. Uh, they are not the most comfortable to wear. In terms of music quality, these are excellent, though. These really block out the noise, and um, the, the music quality is, like, the best, I think out of all the three. It's slightly better than the Buds 2 Pro, but I do not recommend this over the Buds 2 Pro for um, <clears throat> obvious reasons. The comfort on these is just so much better, and the sound quality is almost on par. Um, the call quality is way better as well. Unfortunately for the uh, 1000 <coughs> XM3s, um, or is it the 3, um, yeah, there's not, a, there's not a pair of headphones called the 1000 XM3s, but this one, uh, the noise cancelling is so good, but Unfortunately, that is also its bad point, is that whenever you talk to somebody, they can't hear you. I mean, tons of people have told me time and time again, I can't hear you, can you take off your earbuds? Like, don't use these earbuds for calls because these will disappoint you. The moment you're out you're out and about in a, even a slightly noisy environment, uh, these will fail you. So, yeah, don't use these. Don't buy these if you want calls. And they have a newer version, the um, 1000XM4s, but uh, those are also... They still have the same strengths and um, disadvantages. So the strengths are music quality is great, noise cancelling is great, and the bad part is the call quality is not good. Right? It could be terrible. I think it, it's better than this. I, I don't know. I, ha I didn't buy it. But it's also chunkier compared to the current competition. Now the Buds, Buds 2, uh, sorry, the Buds Plus uh, were my second pair, and these are really um, affordable. And I use them for running a lot. They are really small, so when I put them in my ear, they stick out a lot less. Okay, there's no battery in these, so they're not going to connect. But people often said I sounded clear on these, um, my voice. Um, the music was so-so. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't as great as the Sony's, but um, I'd say it's, I guess it's fine. The reason why I don't use these as, anymore is that the right earbud conked out on me. So I can only hear out of one earbud and obviously that is not optimal um, yeah so sound quality is really just so so for the price uh, it's you know it's it's affordable if you can still buy them now that uh, every store I checked don't, doesn't sell them anymore um, but yeah these were good because of the overall package the the the, uh, the call quality especially and, and the comfort the fit is definitely way better than the Sony's and of course this came out the uh, <clears throat> The most recently, only two months ago, September 2022, and um, these are by far the most comfortable because they are the smallest. And when I mean small, they are really small. They are so good looking, I think, in my opinion. And um, when you just put them in your ear, it just melts into your ear and you really can hardly see them. Um, you know, if someone is wearing them, you, you can hardly tell you're wearing them because they they sit in your ear so well and 
Call quality, I believe, is just as great as the Buds Plus, if not better. Nobody, nobody has told me that they can't hear me, you know, even in noisy environments. And so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to uh, turn off this video. I'm going to talk for a little bit with the Buds 2 Pro on, where you can just see for yourself the call quality. I have a portable fan here, so I'm just going to blow the fan uh, <laughs> at myself here and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so now my Buds 2 Pro are in my ears. I'm talking through them. I'm in a car environment. Let me just turn on the fan and see how the uh, how my voice sounds. So I'm just turning on, turning this on. It's uh, at full speed right now. Yeah, don't know if you can hear it, but uh, it should be quite uh, audible to hear the fan noise. Yep. But the thing is that even though I have noise, this has full noise canceling on, and there could be people or co vehicles. Um, it could, there could be like noisy streets around you. People still say that they can hear me, so call quality is excellent on this. Um, it, turning off the fan now. So in terms of music quality, they're almost on par with this. In fact, it could some sometimes if you play it, if you toggle the settings. I, I set mine to dynamic mode, or yeah, out of the box, these still don't sound as great as the Sony. So, so what you need to do is you need to go into the settings and you need to play around with them and adjust the treble to be a little bit higher, to be a, a bit sharper, and the bass to be a bit lower. So once you have low bass and high treble, it gives you that same impact as the Sony's. And yeah, for me, like the comfort is the, the best, uh, the um, call quality is the best, the sound quality is as good or better than the Sony. So yeah, uh, of course, uh, um, uh, noise cancellation is very close to the Sony's. I still think the Sony's is slightly better, but with, you know, with the great fit and everything, I think it's going to be very hard to find a competitor. The reason why I didn't buy the the latest iteration of the Sony's is because they are still so chunky. I mean, they are uncomfortable when, when I look at them. And the case, um, the new one is a lot smaller than, than this, but it's nowhere near as small as this, as the Buds 2 Pro case. And that case has a weird, like, kind of a slopey, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, like a, like a sloped lid that it just doesn't look very symmetrical to me, so I, I, I didn't want to get that. Um, you know, especially if you have a Samsung phone like I do, I have the S21 Ultra recording this. I highly suggest you get um, the Buds 2 Pro, uh, especially if you can get, get them at a discount. They are, they are worth the price in my opinion, having used them for two months already. All right, so let me know, uh, let me know your thoughts on this, and uh, I'm still wearing the Buds 2 Pro, by the way. Uh, let me know if, you know, you have any feedback on the, 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 the voice quality that I'm recording this video with. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.